something that I'm really happy about is everyone's interest in my startup, Break My Dorm, and like my job hunt. So I decided I was gonna get back into full-time work maybe like a month ago. And that was before two things. The first one was going all in on Break My Dorm. And second, that was before the realization of how difficult it actually would be. I don't have any more outgoing job applications. I got rejected from all of them. This comment on my video is a good example. You're joining at the wrong time. I'm a senior engineer that got laid off from one of the top four companies and it's rough out there. I've been interviewing for the past two weeks and still getting rejected. Definitely been eye-opening and I kind of shifted my focus a bit because you know, interviewing is such an intensive process. You kind of have to really be preparing, especially for stuff like algorithm questions. I've been using this time to grow my website instead. With the addition of ambassadors, certain schools have been really excelling on the site. So BU has like 400 reviews now, which is so cool. Stuff like USC is growing too. I'm not at the stage where it makes money, but I think that the farthest you are from your goal, the more motivated you are in that journey. I've definitely felt that way in a lot of things. One being YouTube. When you're starting out on YouTube, there's like a different sense of motivation. That's why I feel so motivated right now with Rate My Dorm because, you know, one day I see myself selling it or making money from it, but right now I'm just building it, getting one review at a time, getting one photo at a time. All right, I'm gonna head out to get some lunch. I'm meeting up with some friends later. It's a pretty cloudy day and a rainy day, but I'm gonna cut to a clip to when it wasn't cloudy. I waited for the perfect day to film this segment. It's finally a warm day here in New York and Insta360 sent me their 360 camera and I'm really excited to try it out. You can take the craziest angles with this camera, angles that I could never really get with this one. I'm gonna be bringing out this really long selfie stick and try their invisible selfie stick mode and this will be the first time I'm trying this camera out so we're gonna see what it's like together. a go-to in my camera bag. The Insta360 has 5.7K 360 capture and reframing. It has impossible third-person views, which is my favorite. It has a powerful editing suite and I can edit the shots I took on my phone in the mobile app. It has flow state stabilization and 360 horizontal lock, so all the shots taken with this camera are super stable. trying to add cool shots to my video, so thank you Insta360 for sending the X3 camera. Weather in New York has been great. 50, 60 degree weather. I love taking my boosted board. Definitely one of my favorite things about living in the city. But when it's raining, I take my city bike membership. It's like $15 a month and you get unlimited bikes. I would say it's the second best way to get around the city. My parents were happy that I'm moving back to New York from LA. They're always worried about me driving in LA and just the risk associated. And you might say that boosted boarding in the streets, like in my Insta360 video, is super dangerous. But something about here in this city, there's a street light every block. So cars are never going fast enough where it would be fatal. Not to sound dark or anything, but every block there's a light. So at most, you'd probably get bumped by a car, which I never have, by the way. Yeah, it's not too bad. I honestly never go to coffee shops or work remotely anymore. I love my desk. I make my own coffee. So like during the day, I have no reason to step out. But right now, I want to get a task done for Ray My Dorm. It's related to forums. And I want to see if I can get it done in like 15 minutes. Shouldn't be too hard. So right now, Forum sections are set up like if you go to USC, there is a forum section here. It's like kind of going after Reddit's audience, but it's not like Reddit in that a student can ask a question because I don't think Raymond Dorm will have traffic like that. I pretty much went on school subreddits and checked out the most commonly asked questions related to dorms. So these two questions are just the default questions and if a student goes on here, they could answer it. And I think a huge benefit of adding this form is SEO. Let's see how it is right now. Best dorms at USC. Yeah, so like one, two, 
Right now it's the fourth result. So that's honestly, that's pretty good. I just got my home workout in and I'm here in my common area. Before I head off for the day, I'm gonna answer Instagram story questions. All right, question number one, will you work on another startup? I definitely see myself doing something after in my dorm and I do look forward to working on something that's not like to consumers and instead B2B, business to business. How do I survive university? I'm gonna speak about my major specifically and what I did in college. I definitely wasn't a overachiever when it came to my studies, my average was B to B plus. I had a 3.2 GPA in computer science. I definitely could have had a higher GPA if I wanted to. I only say that because I never went to office hours. I guess, I don't know why it's like that. You know, they say C's to get degrees, but I just think it's good to have a good balance in college because I honestly don't know if jobs care about your GPA. I never put my GPA in my resume and none of my previous employers asked for my GPA either. I feel like I was really preoccupied with other things. I was doing a lot of freelance wedding video, of like photography. I was in the Taekwondo sparring team and I was also in like my Filipino club. I didn't have as much time as I probably could have for studying. I would just say have a good balance with friends, join a lot of clubs. All right, I just clocked out for rent my dorm work for the day. It's like eight o'clock. Honestly, I can't imagine working a job and doing rent my dorm at the intensity that I'm doing right now. That was my realization today. Having this side project, it really does make me feel like I have a nine to five, which is uh, a nice feeling to have. What would make my situation more perfect is if I was making money from rent my dorm and it's an actual job, but uh, that's what I'm working towards.